Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we are going to take a look at some special cases where multiplying a whole number to a fraction results in a whole number. In other words, the fraction gets cleared out. We call this Kung Fu Fractions. It's a useful technique to deal with problems that have lots of fractions all over the place. So, let's get started. But before we do, we gotta get out. Charlie, he better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to do some Kung Fu? Huh? All right, Charlie, let's get started right there. Three-fourths. Now, suppose three-fourths was being multiplied by four. Let's show our work here. Let's first write the four as a fraction, four over one. And notice here, the fours will cancel, right? They become ones. And when you multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom, you get three over one. And the answer is three. Notice we got a whole number for our answer. Well, in the very beginning, you may have noticed those fours canceled. Okay, let's look at this one. Eight times three fours. Let's write the eight as eight over one. And notice we can cross cancel the eight and the four. Eight divided by four is two, and four divided by four is one. Notice we end up with a one in the denominator. And when you multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom, you end up with six over one, which is six. You get a whole number again. So notice in the very beginning, 8 was the whole number, 4 was the denominator, and 8 divided by 4 was 2. Let's do another one here. 12 times 3 fourths. Let's write the 12 as 12 over 1, and let's cancel here. They both have a common factor of 4, so the 12 becomes a 3, and the 4 becomes a 1. Again, when you multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom, you end up with 9 over 1. Notice, all your denominators are 1, right? And the result for this one is 9. So, in each of these problems, notice, those denominators divided evenly into those whole numbers. And when you see that, that's where you can Kung Fu. All right. So, let's do some Kung Fu here. Here's the Kung Fu technique. Ninja style. Anyway, we have 4 times 3 fourths. We say the fourths cancel out. They become 1. And 1 times 3 is 3. And that's your answer. Kung Fu. All right. Let's try another one here. 8 times 3 fourths. Notice 8 is a whole number and 4 is a denominator, so you can divide those out. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And 2 times 3 is 6. And that's it. You can disregard that 1. Because in all these fractions here, the 1 didn't matter, right? Because anything divided by 1 is itself. Kung Fu. All right, let's do another one here. 12 times 3 fourths. Here we have 12 divided by 4 is 3, right? Reduces to 3 over 1. And 3 times 3 is what, Charlie? 9. Very nice there, Charlie. Your answer is 9. Oh, what fun. Okay. Let's look at 5 times 3 fourths. Now, here's something important. I want to say this. You can't start kung fuing until you know what you're doing. So a lot of times people will kung fu and they get the wrong answer and they get all beat up and everything because they don't know what they're doing. So remember, you've got to understand what's going on before you start kung fuing. Now this problem, 5 times 3 fourths, you cannot kung fu because 4 does not divide evenly into 5. So you have to write the 5 as a fraction. So you write it as 5 over 1, you multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom, and your answer is 15 over 4, and that's it. You still have a fraction. Now, 3 times 2 ninths. You cannot come through this, because 9, that denominator does not divide evenly into that 3. It won't work. So you have to write the 3 as a fraction. We write it as 3 over 1, and here we have a common factor of 3 and 9. It's 3, and so let's divide that out. The 3 becomes a 1, the 9 becomes a 3, and we multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom, and we end up with 2 thirds for our final answer. All right, now, here we have 15 times 4 thirds. Charlie, can we come through this one? Yes. Yes, you can, because 3 divides evenly into 15, and so let's do that. 15 divided by 3 is 5. We can disregard that 1, and 5 times 4 is 20. Kung Fu. Anyway, let's do another one here. 8 times 7 halves. Well, 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 4 times 7 is 28. Again, we can disregard that 1. Okay, here we have 12 times 5 fourths. Charlie, how do you Kung Fu this? 12 divided by 4 is 3, 3 times 5 is... 15. Very nice there, Charlie. That's right. Okay, Charlie. Bring us home. 12 times 7 thirds. How do you do this? 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 7 is 28. 
Very nice there, Charlie. That was some good kung fu there, right? Okay. So in our next video, we're going to put this kung fu into action. So I hope to see you again soon.